in Windchill, just about everywhere you have a table, you can customize that table in order to see the information that you're interested in. Let's take a look at an example of that. Here I am looking at a CAD document. I am on the structure tab. And in a later video, I will show you how to export your bills of material or the product structure. And I'll show you how to generate reports and also how to export the information. But one thing I want to note is that I typically don't do that from the CAD document. I prefer to do that from the enterprise part or the wind chill part or the WT part, whatever you want to call that. So I'm going to go to related objects and here is the WT part. Let me click on it and let's go to the structure tab. And here I can see that there are three different levels here of subassemblies. By the way, the CAD document had a skeleton model. You will notice that the skeleton model is not present here because a skeleton is a framework for designing our assembly, but it's not something we're actually going to manufacture. If you go to the views group, I have a drop down list here. If I go to the default view, you can see that there's only the name of the object in here. Let me try to grab this and make it a little bit wider. Not enough information here for me. From the views drop down list, it looks like there are a few other default tables or save tables listed in here. If I want to create my own custom table, you're going to do that from the manage structure views command. And here I will get a dialog box and it lists all the different tables that are in here. And you can do things like edit the existing tables or you could delete them. But I'm going to take the default table and I'm going to copy it in order to create my own custom view. So to do that, I will click on the little computer disk icon for save as. And this will bring up the dialog box that we use in order to customize our table view. And the first thing that I am going to do is give it a name and I'm going to call this one my export product structure because that's what I'm going to use it for. And you can write a description if you want. Here we have some check boxes to share with all users and show in current list view. Share with all users, not everyone is going to have that ability. It depends on your permissions. And you can see that there are three different essentially tabs that we have in this dialog box. After we set the name, we can click on the next button and then we're going to choose which columns that we want to have. And so for the first column, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find number in the list. And I have quite a few available columns in my particular windshield instance. You probably will not have this many. Let's add this to the column. And here we have number for the identity. I don't want that in here. Let me use the arrow to remove it. So I've got number. Then let me go to the name choice. I like number and then name. And let's see another thing that I want to have in here. Let's find the state. And I'm going to add in a few other different columns quickly. All right, now I have my different columns. Let's say I want to reorder some of them. I can select it and then move it down or move something up and get them in the right order that I want. Let's say that I want to have the quantity or the version before the quantity. I can move that one up. And then once I have the columns that I want, I will click on the next button. And then you can define your sorting, how you want the objects listed in the table. And first, I want them listed by their number. And usually that's enough. If you want to add an additional one, like maybe I want to then sort on the name, I can do that. But two different objects are not going to have the same number. And then here we have ascending or descending. Typically, ascending is what you want. And this is good. So now I will click the finish button. And that new table view is created in here. I will click the OK button. And in order to use that table view, once again, I will go to the views drop down list and then select it from here. And now I've got the table view that I want. If you go to the display drop down list, then from here you could choose to expand all levels. 
and that way we can see all the different objects in our product structure and then I can go to the display drop down list you can change to a three pane display and so that way for the object that is selected then you can do other additional actions to it so for example from here you could end up adding additional objects change the information about the occurrences and supersede information documents etc all right let's go back to our two pane display and so again that's how you can use the manage structure views command in order to create your own custom table views and again you will see a manage views icon typically for anywhere that you have a table that you want to customize I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.